take my life for granted. Hi friends, welcome to another video. This is going to be my grocery haul video and I thought this would be kind of fun by bringing you guys along a little bit with my grocery shopping. Um, I'm not going to show the whole grocery shopping like I did before. It's going to be just like little bits of me just shopping around the store. And, um, and then I'll show you my haul at the very end. I'm going to Walmart and Costco right now. We just got to Walmart. Um, I'm bringing my boys, Sean. Hi. <laughs> Hi. And bringing Riley. And yeah, so now we are going to um, go inside of Walmart and get what we can. It's a little bit later in the evening, so I'd wait for my husband to get home because I had to get money and my car, so. <laughs> All right, so now let's get to shopping. You take my life for granted Say a bunch of stuff you never meet, yeah I seriously feel like crying. I'm so frustrated right now. Um, <laughs> so I don't know what it is if it's because I don't know what it is if it's just because it's like the first rainy day in a long time. But honestly, it feels good. But people are just so grumpy and bratty and rude and just in a bad mood. Oh my gosh, I hate this. I like, I try to beam happiness and cheerfulness and just be in a good mood and hopefully it radiates to other people. And there's just some people that were just radiating their, their anger off on me. And I was just, I got in a verbal argument with a lady at Walmart. So... Basically, gosh, I seriously have something in my eye. I'm trying. Just, you mask off? Yeah, you can take your mask off. So, Riley and I went down an aisle. Okay, so you know how right now, because of the whole pandemic, there's like at Walmart, there's. Hold on a second. All right. So, anyways, you know how right now they're in the aisles. It says, "Don't go this way" or whatever, and nobody abides by that because it's just they're just keeping social distance without you know having to have all these rules of what aisle what way you can go in the aisles no one's doing that okay so riley and i went down an aisle the wrong way and we were in there by ourselves and we're to the side so we're not anyone's way and this one lady oh my gosh she pulls in to it going the, the right direction and she's like and she's like, excuse me. And I'm like, 
Oh, I'm sorry. Come here, Riley. Riley was not even close to her. He was on the other side, uh, down the very other end of the aisle with me, but on her side. And she was like clearly on the other side when she said, excuse me. So I was like, okay, I'm sorry. Come here, Riley. You know, just being nice and kind. She's like, you know, this is a one way only aisle. And I was like, well, good thing it fits both of us in it. And then she's like, it's not supposed to fit both of us in it. And then I was like, I was like, don't need to be nasty. I, I just got a little bit of a verbal argument. And then she said something, but I just let it slide because I was not going to let her destroy my night. But, and then there's just other people just having just grumpy attitudes in the whole store. It was just very frustrating. I'm not one to argue with strangers because I think that's just a waste of life, waste of waste of time and energy. Um, and I feel like people should just be kind to everyone. Um, but I just, I had it. I just had it. <laughs> that lady was so rude and she was rude to Riley. And of course, Mama Claus comes out. So I was just kind of defending myself and Riley. Because honestly, there's no reason to be nasty about that. That's such a little minute thing that did not need to flare up anything. So after that note, <laughs> now we're on our way to Costco, but I wanted to share that with you guys. It's just one of those weird days where everyone is just being complete jerks <laughs> and I'm trying to be nice to everyone. <laughs> trying. Shooting me with words, but I won't let them bruise Even though it hurts, I won't show it to you Cause it will ricochet, I won't let it bite I will look at you and tell you that I'm alright Like a ricochet, it will come back to you This would actually be really cool for like Christmas. Wouldn't that be cool, buddy? And you want that? You want that? Yeah. I bet. Well, that's an idea. Yeah, Christmas yeah. stuff already. Play Doh is $9.99. Hey. <laughs> Hi. Hi. now 8 12 p.m they're getting ready to close um obviously it's a lot darker now because i have my flash on my camera facing me um and you probably tell it's just really dark it's pouring down rain right now which is fine it feels really good because it's been super super hot and sticky lately and i just i just i feel like i physically just needed a day of rain <laughs> but um yeah of course at costco i had a much better experience um, normally at that Walmart, I have great experiences. Pe the, the people that work there treat me really good. That's for sure. They they know me. They know my kids. They're just really sweet. But that one lady was just... Uh, <laughs> but inside Costco, of course, everything was great. Um, and yeah, I got some things and I'm going to take everything home and I'm going to show you guys. It is a late night grocery haul. And I hope you are enjoying this video. If you are new, give me a like and subscribe to my channel. I do this probably weekly and, <laughs> and I do other videos as well. So definitely subscribe to me if you're new. I'd really appreciate it. And give me a like if you are enjoying this video. All right, now to get home and show you guys my haul. For you guys so sorry a lot of my groceries are wet because it was pouring down rain and we were bringing in the groceries so some of them got kind of wet so i want to start with costco the dawn platinum dish soap was on specials two dollars off so it was like seven or 7.99 
and then we needed some AA batteries and luckily the Duracell 40 pack was on special for only $13.99. And then I grabbed another box of 60 pack of the Rice Krispie Treats for my husband, that was $7.99. And then I picked up some Capri Suns for the kids and that was on sale for $7.99 as well. And then I also picked up another thing of Hello Panda because these do go quick in our house and that was like about $5.49 on sale. These were not on sale, but I had to have them. They're the Sherling um, slippers. They're gray. They're super comfortable. They were $21.99. Um, hush, don't tell my husband, <laughs> but I had to have them. All right, and now here is my Walmart haul. I was actually in the meat aisle while the guy was clearancing stuff and I was like, is the pork chops going to go on clearance? And he said, yep. And so he handed that to me. So that was on clearance for $6.89. Um, luckily, the ground beef is actually back down to normal pricing and that was only seven something for three pounds. And then I got three pounds of chicken breast for um, just $5, I believe. And then um, I have been eating a lot of salad lately, so I got a thing of iceberg salad mix for $2.97, and then I got some shredded iceberg lettuce for $1.97. I like to get my lettuce from Winco, though, because it's cheaper. It's like half the price, but it's okay. And then I got some garlic bread for $1.98, and then I got a thing of French bread for $1.00. I got this thinking this was the refill for the power wash spray, but it's not. So I'm gonna be returning this and getting the power wash spray, but it is Dawn Platinum Foam for the pumping kind. And this was just under $6. So I will be returning this and getting the right thing tomorrow. <laughs> And then I got a five pound bag of russet potatoes. This was only like $1.97. And then I got two taco seasoning packs for like 28 cents each. I am running out of my taco seasoning. I didn't want to spend $10 for a big case of it. So I just got um, just two packs of those. And then I am making homemade chili this week. And so I grabbed two things of tomato sauce for 50 cents each. And then I also grabbed two things of French style green beans for 50 cents each as well. And then I grabbed a larger can of the Rosarita refried beans. And this was like $1.75 around there. And then I know you guys are probably going to be like, that stuff's horrible, but I like it. I get the Imperial um, butter sticks or non-butter sticks. Those were $0.98. Cents. I like to use it for baking. And I saw this and I had to have this in my life. It is extra caffeinated coffee for K-Cups from Great Value. This was, on, this was under $4 for $12. So I grabbed that. Um, I got um, some brown rice for myself, five pounds of it. That was only like three something. And then I grabbed this. I was going to get the other container that I showed earlier in the video, but I got this instead because it's half the price. And I really like the spout that this has. I think it'd be a lot easier to dispense the brown rice. So I'm going to put the brown rice in this and it actually ended up fitting perfectly in this container. This was only like less than $4 for this container or it was like just a little over $4. I don't remember, but it was for something, I believe. And then I grabbed my husband and my kids, some soda, Dr. Pepper and Mountain Dew, mostly for my husband's work. And then I was running low on my McCormick um, Montreal steak seasoning. So I grabbed that, that was like $1.78. And then I got this Kit Kat apple pie flavored Kit Kats, whatever. I wanted to try it with my kids and see how they like it. That was less than a dollar. And then I grabbed a 2% gallon thing of milk for my family. And then I got a bag of goodies, you guys. I am so excited to share this with you. So I have an obsession with kitchen towels and these were screaming at me and they were the last ones. So that was, they were screaming really loud, but look how beautiful these are. They're black, gray, and white. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this five pack, beautiful set. This was under $10 like nine something for it again hush don't tell my husband <laughs> and then um you know it is the season so I hate wearing face masks but I think I'm gonna make some Halloween ones because they're really cute so I grabbed these for $1.50 each 
and then my husband needed deodorant so i just grabbed him a two pack of the speed stick irish spring this was like three something for it or two something for it i think it was three something but he got two packs so that'll last him a while and then my best friend was showing me the lemon version of this but you guys know your girl loves watermelon so i grabbed the watermelon clean and clear juicy scrub it also hydrates your skin and you know i have eczema so this is gonna be better for me anyways but this was 596 i believe and i cannot wait to try this i love indulging in skin treatments and face stuff and i just oh, i love it cannot wait to use that and then i got this and she forgot to take the two dollar coupon off so i'm going to take it to the store when i return the dawn um foaming stuff tomorrow i am going to take this in and i'm going to have them take the two dollars off so i can get my two bucks back um for my coupon for my concealer i get that one's my favorite concealer it's l'oreal infallible vanilla is the color 355 and then i saw this on clearance for three dollars from hard candy silver metallic eyeliner i had to try that so yeah this is my haul you guys i hope you enjoyed i cannot wait to get these cozy slippers on all right you guys i hope you enjoyed this haul and this video i hope it was fun because it's a little different um i'm sorry i had to vent a little bit in this video but hopefully that gave you some some tea, some spilt tea for the day. Um, I hope you will, oh, blah, 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 blah. hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Give me a like and subscribe if you are new. I'd really appreciate it. And I'd love to see you guys again in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys again later. Bye now.